Yeah, yeah, I'm taking over the floor. There's enough blood of yours. Listen closely and carefully. Time for his testimony. It wasn't, it wasn't deliberate, I tell you. Footage is meant to be edited, I tell you. It seems that split and splice and the other along our boring seems to cut out. That means, okay, that's true. All the stations edited looked this way. It wasn't like it was done maliciously or something. Hmm. Before, it was just a coincidence that particular cut. It wasn't intentional. Or what? Or what? You had to prove that I am an altered motivator in the footage? Maybe I do. I see. So you're saying it was a coincidence that the worst source of being seen was cut? That's right. Glad you got the picture. Objection! Coincidence? That's just a little too convenient if you ask me. An objection? How oh, cool. It's what packs a lot of fall. What punch when you hear a low light. Do that again. I want to hear it. Not a shot of the angle. Cut that out. My objection is not for your entertainment. And cut. There, I got some good stuff there. Order. Mr. Reds is filming his prohibitive inside the courtroom. Put the camera away. Whoops. My bad, Judge. And you got rid of it. And the extent is an issue you can point out during the cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination. It wasn't deliberate, I tell ya. One, two, three, four, five... Five... Statements. Represent. No, wait, we gotta press it first. Almost jumped the gun there, I remember what happened last time. Hold it! Of all the scenes you could have cut, why the sword switching trick? That seems like too much of a coincidence to me. Something's not right about that. Now you're gonna tell me how I'm supposed to head in my program and big shot? It's hard being the boss, kid. You gotta make the tough choices, it's like when content gets cut. But let me ask you this, why exactly did you make such a tough choice in this case? You wouldn't understand, champ. It's all about artistic vision. So he claims. And he's on his phone. Tell you, people tell you how to do your job and they don't know the first thing about it. I may not know a TV, but I know evidence law. Evidence law. And boy, I have some for you, champ. I may not be able to show that your selective editing was intentional. However, I know you're really... Maybe the defendant ill will, and the evidence, and this is the evidence that proves it. Clipboard. No. Where's the clipboard? No, not that. Bingo! Clipboard used by Tristan and Sai. Hadri was also an instrument in the readings of Hadri's distant costumes. Take that! Huh? What did you got there? Contra you had Mr. Wright Miss Wright signed is more than major show. Between the first party take two TV and the second party Miss Wright reads. If throw throughout the fault of the second party, the show must be cancelled and part of part of part of in full. The second party will pay three million dollars competition for the first to the first party. Three million dollars? That's outrageous. Mm mm. That's a complete unreasonable really unreasonable sum. Indeed, it is. I couldn't agree more. And of course, Ms. Rank doesn't have that kind of money. Nevertheless, Roger Rittins has Rittins had her sign this unreasonable contract anyway. Or, more accurately, he conned her into signing it. Conned her? How did you do that? The trick to the clipboard that was used by Ms. Rank to sign her contract. I turned to this side, it opened up in the back. That was just a carbon paper that, se that secretly copied secretly copy her and her signature onto other documents. Oh, come on now. That's quite a nasty accusation you're saying st in my way. For starters, you don't have any proof that I have anything to do with that carbon paper stuff. Just because Tracy and her agent can't pay up doesn't mean I can't. I mean I can't. 
I mean, they may have a point, but the $3 million, seriously, that's totally out of reach for the average person. He does have a point. In any case, this is, new. This is important information. Please add it to your testimony, Mr. Rand. Where's your proof like you made of that trick? No trick dog, cop. I don't have any proof, do you? Oh, wait, you got some proof that I had it. I'm too much afraid of the The new fifth statement. Two, three, four, five. And this is four, six. Oh, six. Actually, you'd be surprised what lawyers have nowadays. Just these notes. Just a statement. No, that's not a statement. I'll have to report. Just his note. Bingo. I don't find that doesn't work. Is that an interesting signature? That's just his statement. That's just his note. The objection! You, you must be quite calm, man. You, you can fool a magician with a simple trick. But if you think you can fool a cobbler, you're very, mista very much mistaken, pal. Hey, kid. What are you doing in, in this enunciate in front of the camera? You know, think of the viewers. Like a newscaster. I'd like you to take a look at Ms. Wright's signature here in this note. Now let's compare it to that signature to the one here in the contract. It's a match. Aha! See? Would you look at that? They're exactly the same. Mm hmm. That's right, Your Honor. Not just similar, but exactly the same. They match. No, nobody can sign their name in exactly the same way twice unless it's a copy. Oh boy. These signatures are proof. Are proof positive that you come. That's right. And it definitely proves your malicious intent. Say. Battle, right? Didn't know you had it in here. But, I'm missing something. It's really getting interesting now. Great and for sure. Ahem, no cameras. Don't try to dodge the issue, Mr. Ray. Teens. The fact is that you bear ill will to against my client. So, show for your stuff we have to do just intentions. Isn't that right? Objection! No wrong. What a forced argument defense. All you have really is proven it's not as well toward this right. That's right, but it's pe 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 pecuniary greed. Oh, he's right. I just wanted the money, baby. Fat sacks of cheddar, that's all. That's all. I never even crossed past the street before the magic show. So I have no reason to bear her any ill will, right? Oh, he's right. He has a point. He didn't bear any ill will, huh? We'll see about that. Chance, this guy definitely has some major hate for Trucy. Flashback. You'll see. I'll dig up the dirt and expose the dark harp and the sweet smile. I'll prove those grandma and magician to a little bunch of little lies. <coughs> I can't prove it without anything, but the things you said are not that fact. There must be something between the two of them that gave birth to this grudge. Some sort of connection that not even Trish is aware of. This might be true, Your Honor. <coughs> I told you that the Roger Rains and Trucy Will must have crossed paths before. There was some hidden connection between them. Hidden connection? It sounds, I know it sounds crazy, right? What is. No. I don't know. Just what are you standing at, Mr. Justice? It is futile to even ask, Your Honor. Surely it is just another one of the defenses fix this claim. Objection! Uh uh. You don't seem to have a very high opinion of me, but once you hear my argument. I don't wish you then home, home. You're taking me a whole lot more seriously. Well, I really? Very well then. Do proceed. Did you figure something out, Apollo? He might have, might not. Not a thing, really? That was just some good old fashioned bluffing, of course, and Mr. Wright's fine training. Hope you know what you're doing. Very well. If you're going to make such a bold claim, Mr. Justice, I hope you're ready to re elaborate. 
What is the hidden connection between the defender and Robbie Ray? Um, third option. Wandering the Magician 2. Outside of hand treatments, the rains it during the recess earlier. That's it! Flashback. Fill it private inside the courtroom. Do you want to get me? You get the bailiff. What camera? Filming? What are you talking about? I don't even have a camera on me. I've arranged as a magician too. Seriously, what if? I believe it's up to the defense to film the blank it's not me. Well, if he is, he may have some kind of contact with him right somewhere during the middle of the Objection! Irrelevant. Your argument is hardly worth responding to. But by all means, please do continue. As a passage in the in the sacred scriptures of Cranism states, he who gives a sermon to a monkey is himself a monkey. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you say to do it. He's gonna get a... We saw the range before the magic trick. See, I believe he made the video camera disappear in the blink of an eye! Well, I think it would be pretty funny if I were a magician. Something's off here. You must have been seeing things. I would introduce you to a good eye doctor. Hmm, if a connection this changes out of the takes. Then every magician in the country can imagine you'd be able to totally use it. Ah, uh, here's the point. Yes, you're right. You're hung. You're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? Short stuff. You, you, you would do well to claim that future mind of yours in the holy water, Mr. Pony Pony. But these days under refrigerator water, three days under refrigerator waterfall, and even you should you should realize the level of a monkey. Ha ha ha, numbskull for a numbskull. <laughs> well, this numbskull has thin Thick skin, so there. I think I can hear what they're driving at. Even if he's a magician, it's not exactly a reason for being a grudging to trust with it. Unless. Hold on. I can think of one person. One magician who has a reason to bury a world trend. A grudge against Trissy. Or rather, one magician who has a, had, has a reason to bury a grudge against True Grimoire. No. Who's that? The pure radio call. Hmm? No. What is it, Paul? You don't think it's something wrong, Mr. Justice? Well, Your Honor, the defense wishes to submit evidence at this time. Evidence, I see. What sort of evidence do you have for us? Evidence that points to the real killer, the one who had a motive to commit this crime. The real killer? Are you sure of that, Paul? <sighs> and why don't you come up with this time, defense? is the sole heir to the true glory and his name. This puts her square in the cross as the one popped the magician. Particular magician. This piece of evidence points to him. There's with the grudge against Miss and Miss Tristan. That's right. A three-year-old poster. No, not the poster. To the poster. Injury sustained. Hope I'm right about this. A 13 year old poster. Take that! And who exactly are you naming, Mr. Justice? 13 years ago, I don't know if Mr. Ray has belonged to the Troop Gamari. But then the Troop out of stadium, Mr. Ray has fought to get revenge on them someday. And what better way to accomplish that than throughout the ruination of this sole heir? But Mr. Ray is the victim of justice. You've named a dead man as your suspect? Seriously, I know it sounds crazy, but is he really dead? Hmm. What do you mean, is he really dead? You're saying he faked his death? It's a fact that Mr. Ray is the victim of the one that's throwing you off. Then how about we consider this possibility? Fine. What if the man who died in the last day yesterday wasn't Mr. Reyes? Was it Mr. Reyes? Then who was it? It does sound, everyone speaks this. What? You mean the victim was an imposter? It sounds far-fetched, right? 
Ah, uh, Mr. Reyes. Then what about the real Mr. Reyes? Where is he? I mean, the real Mr. Reyes is still alive somewhere. <laughs> Preposterous! That's absurd. Everyone just thinks he's crazy now. Order. I'll have order in this court. Mr. Ch Mr. Just, who is the real Mr. Reyes if not the victim of this case? Better think carefully, Paul. It's all coming together now. I finally see the gimmick. The trick to this entire case. He sees it. Yet this should explain everything, Your Honor. Flashback. The real killer, the one who hated true who I wanted to say its name. The magician lurking in the shadows set up a fake Mr. Reyes in his stead. The imposter. Better time this just right. The real Mr. Reyes is. The suspects. Hot scars on arm. It appears he's famous apparently. Better time this right. Take that! Roger! Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, it is. However, it's an alias. Roger Rent. Or should I say, it's a real Mr. Reyes! What? <gasps> Him? Order? Objection! Blasphemy! <laughs> oh, holy red pepper. Your impotent seed spot nonsense but meaningless mean empty words. You can't possibly... Have uh, proof to support this non letter theory. Not a bad idea for a soap opera, but not even a diehard fan of the genre to go on to pass the pilot. Oh, really? You want a proof? Well, I've got a proof. I can prove it by. Pointing the members of in yesterday's melody show was a fake. And to do that, I just need to look at the spot. Did you look at the spot in this poster? Scars on his left, on his left, right arm. Take that! Zoom in. This is the injury Mr. Ray sustained while practicing a magic trick 13 years ago. However, flashback. There's no scar on his arm. The video of the victim shows shows no trace of that injury. That's right. He's absolutely right. Now, Mr. Rent, what do you suppose you'd find if we took a look at your right arm? For if there is by any chance a nasty 13 year old scar under that sleeve of yours? Still remains silent. Well, Mr. Rent, seems, why don't you roll up your sleeve and let the court have a look? Or are you hiding something else up there? Hmm, he still remains silent. Ha 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 ha. laughing? Oh no, I have nothing on my sleeve. I don't need to hide anything up here, because I require no truth or gimmicks for you to see. I imagine it's a real deal. Hmm? Ah, wait! The scar! There it is! Is this what you're looking at you're hoping to see? Is it the same scar? Oh! There it is! The scar! It is! Bingo! Gotcha! Just like that. That's right, I am the Forgotten Magician, abandoned the dark under stage of this history. Shh, shh, of course, the, the great Mr. Reyes! I knew he faked his death! Flame. This is... It's totally... Absurd! Absurd is right! Order! I have order! <laughs> I rhyme with you and just say that this odious mark carved to me by Troop Grimari would bring my, me back to the limelight once more. Strange are the comic threads before me. If the witness is a real Mr. Reyes, and who is the victim who perished in the magic show? He was but a fan. I met him on one of my programs several years ago. He said he had become a magician out of admiration of the great Mr. Reyes. He'd come in with his own maturity and let them take on my mantle. And when did this man take over for you? About two years ago, I taught him my tricks, and he even acted as his producer. 
And so a mere amateur became a popular magician overnight, cursing my magic on the stage we call television. Hope you enjoy the show. Uh oh. He really had us all fooled, Mr. Reyes. That he did. <clears throat> Mr. Reyes. Or should I say, Mr. Ortiz? Or should I say, Mr. Reyes? If your hatred, in your hatred of Trooper Ma, you killed the victim, Miss. Mr. M Mr. Mestri. And then set up Miss Wright to take the fall, didn't you? You don't, it's just a tarnish to give my name. You need. You need. I have no idea what you're talking about, lad. I set up the prank. How much is true? But I was simply behind this joke on Tracy, I assure you. Yes, she learned the plan and made use of it to commemorate. That's how strong the criminal element runs in the blood of the Objection! But if it was a secret plan, a very prank plan that very few people knew about, couldn't you have been the one to use it for a murder instead? God! What? Hey, what's going on? His head! His head fell off! No, it didn't! Hmm? Just kidding. What the heck was that? Hence my word, lad, for I fear your grasp of reality is slipping. I do believe I told you that my magic is real, and implies neither tricks nor gimmicks. Enough for the um, ambiguity. Why don't you make your point already? Yes. My alibi is a prince as ever. Wouldn't you agree, Prosecutor Sun Mahi? So, who was the murderer, if not Mr. Reyes? I that's right. It's just a alibi. What? He's right. So this trial's gonna have to be extended, after all. Call defense, then, at the time of the magic show, the race was a take two TV. A fat made people can easily attest to. That's right! <laughs> I forgot all about that. Uh, so, what do you think, Your Honor? Would you like me to testify on the matter? Please do. I think you'd better. Please tell the court more about your alibi. Very well. And then, on with the show.